right? So, in today's video, we have a Diamond Sigma. And now you're probably wondering, how is this green screen so high quality? What can I say? A Diamond 5 Sigma. Now, why are we watching this game? Well, I got a story for you. Apparently, their teammates said that this Sigma wasn't playing well. Their shields were bad. They were playing too passive. Meanwhile, the Sigma believes that their teammates were the ones out of position. Who's correct in this situation? Well, you know what? We'll find out now. Back to you. Me. All right, chat. You ready? Let's see. Did this Sigma not play well? Did they have bad shields? Did they play too passive? We'll find out. And Sierra Tanix a thousand bits. Thank you. Appreciate it. Then how about now? See, did it. See, this is the Twitch thing right there. Thanks. How Thank about you. now? Less than three. Think of a thousand bits. We'll find out. They said their they said their tank was playing too passive. Like they were saying, Sigma plays way too passive. So I'll let you know. That shield is fine, by the way. You're blocking off the high ground. Nothing wrong with that shield. Okay, so what's been the main issue so far that you may... Okay, so I, I do want to point something out here. And this isn't like... I'm not saying you're playing too passive here. But something that you can do is you can still kind of take a little bit of map control and still clear out this high ground, right? So uh, look at what's happening from... Look look at your... Look at, look at your... What in the world is... What the... Okay, anyway, look at where you're at and look at what the angles your teammates are taking. You're staying here for a little bit too long. And one of the issues that I saw was that you weren't, like, looking to your left at any point. At no point did you see where your teammates were going. You were very focused on, like, just kind of chilling right here. So scan the map a little bit, and it's okay to start pushing up with the shield rather than sitting back. Now you're going there, but you could have been probably five seconds ahead of where you're at now and kind of beat them to there. So, yeah, Brock, nice job. Diva just went right by you. Got Brock. Nice job. So far, so good. Got Brock. So far, you're playing just fine. What rank is this? Diamond. I mean, so far, you're playing fine. I don't, I don't see, like... Anything you're doing wrong here, your shield's blocking off the sight lines. Nothing wrong with that shield. That shield blocks off good sight lines. So you're in a good spot there. Good patience with your ult. And that's what happens when they have a Life Weaver. My new strat now against a Life Weaver when I recognize they have a Life Weaver on their team. What I mean by that is like sometimes like I, I just like I'm not used to playing against Life Weavers, so like I'll go into my first ultimate, just solo ult the Life Weaver. It's just, that, that's what I do now, because they're just going to pull up anybody out of it that you solo ult. Like, if you solo ult anybody outside of the Life Weaver, they're just going to pull them out of it, and you're not going to get any value. Unless you see them use the pull prior, right? So far, this has been fine. So, I, I am going to watch this, obviously, the whole thing, so we'll see how it goes. All right? I'm going to showcase something to you that you're doing that I think is already going to help your gameplay a little bit more. And I'll explain what that is in a minute, but I want to watch one more team fight before I go into this because maybe that's just only happened for two team fights. All right? Your shields have been okay. At this point, I would take high ground. I want you to look at their comp. I think you go take high ground. Top left. Um, you said, Dustin, you like healing your support as a support main? I mean, that's, that's always good, keeping your support alive. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Sorry. Take top left at this point. I want, I want, I, 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 and I do this sometimes in this map. Hey, nice ult, actually. Maybe not. Maybe you just have a good ultimate, and that was it. Oh, they pulled him out of the ult. There you go. What a treat.
Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Listen, like I said, I, I have this issue on this map sometimes too. If all else fails, it, it, chat, if, if I, I have a strat that can help you on this map, if all else fails. Say you go top left and it doesn't work. Say you go down middle, it doesn't work. For some reason, I don't know what it is. Whenever I go up here, no one on the other team knows what to do because they're like, huh? Go up here and just see what happens. I'm telling you, the reaction from, from people on this map, when you go up this way, they just go, huh? Wait, no, you're supposed to go up the stairwell over here so I can spam you out for all your... And don't be wrong, going up here at, at the start is good, but eventually if oh, things aren't working, you'll see it in like a lot of games. You just you just take your time, go up here, take this side of the map, you can kind of angle your shield well, and then like the other team has to kind of react to it a little bit differently than they normally would. And, and a lot of people aren't used to playing against this type of style over here. So it can help you if you try that. Will it work? There's no guarantee, but it's kind of just a change of pace strategy that you don't see a lot on this map. Do you know what I mean? That makes sense? It's just a little bit different. People aren't used to seeing that on this map. So one thing's for sure, you haven't been playing passive. That that I can say. So if they said you were playing too passive and like we're scared to go in, I, I don't see that right now. At least that's not what I've seen. I'm watching still. Yeah, so far this has been fine. I haven't seen anything here where, like, outside of showing you, like... Well, there's one thing I want to show you, but I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, there's one thing you do that I do it sometimes, but I, I like to... I'm trying to... I've been doing it a lot less as tank, and I'll, I'll show you what it is. You can ult this now. Good ult. That's going to be a good ult. Good patience with that. Nice job. Nice ult. I don't see how they said your shields were for yourself. You're not playing Reinhardt. Like, where, where... Are they expecting you just to pretend you're on Reinhardt? And, like, I, 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 that's the part I don't get. As to why they were saying you only use your shields for yourself. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, that's, like, 80% of Sigma gameplay. Like, you're not Reinhardt. Yeah, you had to back up there. Okay, so this is also kind of a, a good timing for this because I feel like I can showcase this a little bit better on the um, amazing green screen, so give me one second. So here's something that happens sometimes when you're a tank. How often does this happen to you? You're playing tank. Here we are. And this is you. We'll, 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 even, we'll even just say you're on Reinhardt, all right? We'll, we'll pretend you're on Rhine. This can be on Sigma. This can be on a tank. Here you are. You're holding your shield up, and then you're doing this. All right, I'm going forward. I'm going forward. I'm going forward, I'm running out of camera space. So now pretend we went forward a lot of it, a lot. So now here you are, you're ready. And then you fall over, and then you just go. Where'd everybody go? Where, why aren't you? Hello? Hello, right? But that's what happens. But here's the problem. Here's the problem as tanks sometimes, right? Is sometimes you also need to make sure your teammates are with you. And it's something that I'm starting to learn more of. It just, a very quick like, just like that, that's it. Because then it's a lot easier to push up the map and know your teammates are with you. And I noticed you did this a lot on second point unless you heard something. But like sometimes your teammates might go left and you don't even know that. So you have to adjust that play style based off of how your teammates are playing. When you play tank and you create that space, also make sure your teammates are coming with you and it takes like a 10th of a second. You can just be like, like that. So remember that as a tank. And it's something I'm even trying to improve on where I think everybody's with me and I'm focused on everything in front of me and then I forget about anything that's going behind me and then I turn around and maybe there's a tracer on our back line. Maybe the Ana has decided they want to go up in the high ground and only DPS. Maybe the BAP has 22,000 damage and you need to play a little bit, you know, safer. I want to point that out. I see tanks do that a lot. So hope you enjoy this little little tip there on, on Reinhardt and uh, back to you, me. We're back. Good question. Why do we need to have the green screen for that? Because it's amazing. So I want you to focus on that. A couple times you turn back, but you only generally turn back when you know somebody's behind you. 
And what I'm saying is, if you just getting you in the habit of, like, there's a Zarya that just went behind you for that long. You see how there's a two-second window where a Zarya walked in front of you, went behind you? And until you started seeing a beam, like, they, they're just beaming you from behind, and you're like, oh, wait a second! Now it's my time. Like, this is what I mean by that. Second of all, I, this is what's happening. Just so you know, your teammates are going, hey, you're playing too passive. You're, you're, what, what are you doing? And I can see where they're saying that. That's not the case here. You're playing Sigma. You're playing that just fine. If they expect you to run into that Zarya comp and just run right past them and do that, most of the time you're going to fall over. You are in a legit poke comp. You have to play it like a poke comp. You can't, you're not going to play it like you would Reinhardt or even, even Malga now or a hero that is, is designed to create space with that aggression. You're designed to zone out an area with your damage and then take the space as you get that damage. You get what I'm saying? You can ult this right now. Actually, you, you have to ult this. You get away from the brig when you do. Okay, you're good now. I'll, I'll, do not save your ult here. I'm telling you, you need to ult sooner than later. If you, if you wait on your ult, you're not going to be able to use it. It's not going to be good. Waiting way too long on that. Okay, a little bit of a tip. It's okay to use your Sigma ult as a utility to peel them off your teammates rather than to secure an limb. Alright? And now you've done exactly what we said. You turned around, but you're not... It, it, it's... You're only turning around because you see them there. Okay, so... I, I want you to... I want you to immediately use your ultimate the moment you have the opportunity. Like, the moment you have the opportunity, use that ultimate. Because if you wait too long there, you're not going to get any value. Let's see how your defense is. So, so this is, by the way, chat. This is the point where the enemies have said to him. You're not your enemies. Your teammates have said that your your shields are only for yourself and you're not playing well. I think you're playing just fine. I'm going to be real with you. I, I, don't, I don't see anything, like, inherently terrible that you're doing. I think there's some, some obviously, some of the habits on Sigma that you'll need to, like, improve on a little bit. But, like, overall, it's fine. And I, I, I would have definitely used your ult as, like, a peel there rather than, like, a, try to secure an alarm. What rank is this? Diamond. I want to point something out, chat. I'm going to go back just a second here. Watch the Sigma. You see that little scan? That's what I'm referencing right there. Did you see that? That's what I'm talking about when you're playing tank. Just understanding where your teammates are at and being able to make a play off of that. You see that? That was just a little bit of like an example of what I mentioned. It's literally just as simple as that. Just a quick look over to where everybody's at. Get Brock. Is that just like the green screen? Yeah. This is PC, for people asking. You shield himself there because all the high ground is on space. I'm going to tell you this much. Unless you, like, specifically ask your Sigma for a shield, most Sigmas are going to use the shield for themselves. That's just the play style of Sigma. You almost have to. If my Cassidy goes, hey, can you put shield up here for me? I'll go, okay, and I'll, I'll adjust my positioning based off of that. Uh, first of all, I do thank um, myself sometimes when we go to the screen. Like that, that, like, Sigma's shield is going to be for Sigma most of the time. Think of Sigma's shield almost as a Zarya bubble. Not in how, like, a Zarya bubble is, but, like, how you would use your shield. So most of the time, you're going to use a shield for yourself. You, 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 like, you, like, have to. Then, if your teammates ask for it, and they want they want to play an angle with it, or they want you to put on high ground for them, you then adjust your position, and whether you stay up there with them and just kind of spam damage, or you take an angle where you can back away easily. And then that's how you play that, so... Not see your time. Thanks for giving this up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm watching. I would ult. Be careful. Cast has, cast has high noon. Okay, you're good. I was going to say I would ult, and then I was looking at the, the thing. I was going to say cast. I, I have the amount of times I... I feel like anybody who's played Sigma here at one point has lifted a Cassidy during their ultimate when they have high noon. We've all been there. Use your E. Good job. Oh, 
Also, a little side note, because some people will ask me this and I was like, why would you why'd you eat during that grab? I whenever I eat whenever I use the eat during a grab, as in like if a Zarya is shooting at me, a lot of Zarya's are gonna right click into the grab and you can eat the right click of a, of a Zarya. You can't eat the left click, but a lot of Zarya's will right click into the grab and you can prevent that damage. So if it's just a Zarya, you can still it's still worth doing that. Because you can prevent the right click and they're forced to left click, which makes it a little bit easier to heal through the single target. Also, I still think you're playing this fine. Back up now, though. Actually, as I say that, I just remember they have a Rhine. They just switch. I want you to back up. Remember, you're not Reinhardt. We've talked about this. You're not Reinhardt. Don't face tank a Rhine. I'm okay with the ult here. This is fine. But I want you to adjust your position accordingly soon by not face tanking a Rhine. All right? Does Ryan into this nice play? Does Ryan into Sigma work? I mean, you just got to adjust your position. To you answer you, yes, because there's no Lucio right now. There's there's no Lucio right now. If they have a Lucio, I, I that's where I kind of go. Okay, maybe I need to shift my comp a little bit. But you're you're not playing against a Reinhardt who's gonna have speed boost. The only time you're gonna get rolled is during Kasune, but that's gonna happen probably no matter what. As Sigma sometimes if they get aggressive on you, so like no, I, I'm fine with this pick as long as you play high ground. How's it going? How's it going? You want to play high ground here. If your teammates are telling you to drop low ground, it's not the timing yet. You're not at an angle that will help you. So if your teammates are expecting you to drop down right here, it's not going to work. You want to you want to hold the high ground. Your teammates played low ground and they got rolled. And this is going to be again where they're looking at that going, what are you doing? Why aren't you with me? Your position is fine there. You don't want to go low ground for a little bit. You want to play those angles, which your teammates did not. Doesn't mean you played that perfect either. I'm just pointing that out, like with your team. Right. You will, I will say third point now. I know we just talked about Ryan versus Sigma. You are running out of a little bit of space on this map now, so like, this is a, a possibility of where you could switch off, because if you look what the cart is, you don't have the opportunity to fall back to this choke, which means that that Reinhardt can kind of just swing on you now even more aggressively, and you can kind of fall over. So you got to be careful of that. This is where you would want to be a little bit more of a swap. If the cart was where you're at right now, then it's I'm fine with that, but keep in mind, like, this can be a little bit more difficult. It's not like an awful pick, it's just that Ryan's doing exactly what you expect a Ryan to do against you. They're just swinging on you. And it's really hard to punish that Ryan right now when, like, actually, nice play. Get brought. That was pretty much the best thing you could have done there. Just try to rock the Ryan playing aggro on you. Careful here. I would lead in with an ultimate, like, right now. Don't give them opportunity to get space on you or get a pick on your teammates. Like, right now. Remember, you're, you're... Okay, there you go. This is fine. I'm still okay with the timings. That's a good shield. Blocks off the damage. Yup, rock play. Nice play. Nice job. Okay, so your teammates over ulted a little bit, but like in the situation where you need to win a team fight, you almost have to over ult sometimes. Obviously, in an ideal situation... Um... Obviously, in an ideal situation, you would you would save your ultimates, but sometimes it's just gonna happen. You're gonna overall if a team fight isn't won almost immediately on that, but you need to back up now. You need to back up. You need to, you need to back up. You're gonna get shattered soon. Like you're just gonna fall over. They're gonna run right through you, and you're just gonna fall over. Like it's just, you just use your eat in front of a window. Great lamp by your teammate, but like they're just gonna big slam. So this is this is a situation where you need to recognize what comp they're on, and that you just need to give them as much space as possible there to give your teammates time to get a pick. You won't be able to face tank that. They have a ton of ultimates, exactly, and you know they have shatter, you need to just basically back up as much as you can. Even if your teammates are mad at you for, like, not running into their team, etc., like, you need to be very, very careful of that. Like, you need to be very, very careful of that, because otherwise, what just happened to you is going to happen. But yes, uh, as Sigma, I want you to work a little bit on that, like, checking around you a little bit, seeing where they're at. I think that will be beneficial for you. Recognize the comp you're playing against and adjust accordingly, because I just watched you face tank a Reinhardt in a situation where you needed the backup. You see where your teammates are, where that cast is? You needed to play further back just to give your teammates time to get a pick. If you don't give your teammates time to get a pick, you do exactly what just happened. Were you going to win that fight still? Probably not. But I think your chances increase a little bit by just giving your teammates time there rather than just being right in front of them. And then they windowed. You already used your eat. You're going to follow. Your shield's going to die. You're just, that's it. So not bad. And, you're, and to your, your, your question, you're, they, they said that, that you were playing terrible and you were using your shield for yourself and, uh, you, you know, you were too passive. I, I do not think you played too passive. I feel like you played fairly well. So I honestly, like, I, I at this point, I, I am totally fine with, with how you played that. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Sub to uh, all three YouTubes if you haven't. Uh, a lot of awesome videos on there. We just started uploading to the third channel 
again with uh, ranked games if you're interested in those. Go sub to the third channel if you haven't. If you want to submit your own spectating, look in the description below. You'll see my Discord. That's where you'll do that from. You can join my Discord that way. Follow everything there if you haven't, because if you follow everything, you'll be like, wow, I followed everything. We record these all live on stream. You can see the Twitch chat right there. Make sure to stop by if you haven't. We have a lot of fun. And with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day slash night.